Chen Kaiwang from Tsinghua University. I'll be presenting our work, BIS Local Robustness Certification for Deep Learning Based Traffic Analysis Systems. Network traffic is one of the most important data sources for analyzing network activities and detecting cyberspace attacks. In recent years, deep learning has been widely applied for data analysis. Therefore, deep learning can be used for improving traffic analysis systems. There are three type typical deep learning-based traffic analysis systems, including zero-positive NIDS, concept drift detection system, supervised multi-classification system. So, how does deep learning-based traffic analysis systems perform in practice? In fact, they frequently suffer from adversarial attacks due to the vulnerability of deep learning. In details, given a sample, attackers can add a slight perturbation to the sample, and then it will be classified into the wrong class. In recent years, many studies focused on robustness certification to analyze and improve the robustness of deep learning models. It can solve a robustness region around the sample. Any perturbations in the region cannot change the classification result. How can we design a suitable robustness certification framework for deep learning-based traffic analysis systems? Unfortunately, existing robustness certification frameworks are not suitable for traffic analysis. We need to design a special one under the following three motivations. Firstly, the traffic features are highly heterogeneous. For example, as shown in the left figures, the data distributions of inter-packet delays and packet sizes are significantly different. However, existing certification methods mainly focus on LP robustness guarantee. It provides the same robustness region size for all dimensions. Therefore, we need dimension heterogeneous certification. Secondly, the model designs for traffic analysis are variant. For example, Peterson uses example auto encoders. ACID uses an adaptive clustering network. However, some of existing robustness certification methods need to design special linear relaxation according to the model architecture. It is difficult to quickly extend them to new traffic analysis models. Therefore, we need universal certification. Thirdly, traffic analyzers always run in adversarial environments. Attackers can slightly manipulate traffic features to, to defeat traffic analyzers in real time. Therefore, we need a real-time detection technology for it. However, existing certification methods have poor real-time capability. Some of them is independent of data distributions. Others have low efficiency. Therefore, we need real-time certification. In classical randomized smoothing, the classical isotropic noise is shown in the above figure. The noise distributions in all dimensions are the same. The classical randomized smoothing will generate the local robustness region in the left figure. However, it is not suitable for highly heterogeneous features. In fact, the local robustness region in the left finger is ideal. We need adaptive smoothing noise. Therefore, we propose the distribution transformer. It can transform the classical isotropic noise to optimize anisotropic noise to adapt to heterogeneous traffic features. Based on the above idea, we propose a boundary adaptive randomized smoothing framework. We call it as BARS. BARS mainly consists of two stages, training stage and certification stage. Given a deep learning-based traffic analysis system, 
We firstly design a suitable distribution transformer for it. Then, we optimize the noise chip and the noise scale. After the training stage, we can use the distribution transformer to certify the robustness of traffic analyzers. BARS is based on the above three motivations. It has dimension heterogeneous smoothly noise. It assumes nothing about model design. It can be efficiently implemented in parallel. Our distribution transformer can be divided into a linear distribution transformer and a general distribution transformer. Linear distribution transformer directly multiplies weights times the classical isotropic noise. The noise distribution function stays the same. On the basis of linear distribution transformer, general distribution transformer uses new noise distribution functions to improve the representation capability. We can use a single distribution function on the uh, superposition of not multiple distribution functions. The second module of the training stage is optimizing the noise chip. The initial noise chip does not match the classification boundary. We use the right loss function to move noise samples close to the classification boundary. The first part of the loss function moves the wrongly classified samples towards the correct decision region. The second part of the loss function moves the correctly classified sample towards the wrong decision region. The third part of the loss function is a regularizer. It can maximize the weight parameters. Through minimizing the above loss function, we can make the noise shape adapt to the classification boundary. The third module of the training stage is optimizing the noise scale by searching the shear scale factor iteratively. Because the mean robustness radius is not differentiable to the scale factor, in each iteration, we should add a perturbation to the current scale factor and estimate its gradient. Then, we can update the scale factor based on its gradient. The first application case of BARS is quantitatively evaluating robustness. In the zero positive NIDS hit soon, we need to set a threshold for RMSE to detect malicious traffic. However, too small thresholds will lead to poor robustness. Too large thresholds will lead to poor performance. We quantitatively evaluate the robustness and the detection performance of Kitsun under different thresholds. We should set the threshold highlighted by the green light. Then, based on the above optimized threshold, we quantitatively evaluate the robustness of Kitsun under different autoencoder numbers. We can observe that as the autoencoder number increases, main robustness radius will firstly decrease then increase, but the coefficient of variation for robustness radius is opposite. We can set the AE number as 4 in the green box by considering both of them. The second application of BARS is reducing false alarm. In the concept drift detection system, HIT, the model may not be able to learn all patterns of known classes. It will cause false alarms. Therefore, we can retrain KID with the noise data augmentation. The noise is optimized by BARS. As shown in the right table, we can reduce false positive rate and keep false negative rate not increasing. The third application case of BARS is evasion attack awareness. A supervised multi classification system, ACID, always operates in the adversarial environment. Attackers can add slight perturbations to malicious samples 
and make ACID classify them into the Bentley class. Because the data distributions of clear samples are different from those of evasion samples, using the smoothing noise of the Bentley class, the robustness radii of evasion samples are much smaller than those of clear samples. We can set a threshold for robustness radii to distinguish evasion samples from clear samples. The fourth application case of BARS is evasion attack defense. In ACID, the classification boundary might be uneven. It might suffer from evasion attack. Then we can retrain ACID with a noise state augmentation. The noise is also optimized by BARS. After retraining, the cl classification boundary becomes smooth. As shown in the curve figure, the robustness radii of most samples become larger. Then, invention success rate will be reduced. The fifth application case of BARS is explaining attack detection. After satisfying the robustness of ACID, we can obtain the robustness radius of each feature. We can observe that the above two features have smaller robustness radii than mean robustness radius. Therefore, the classification results are sensitive to these features. We can treat them as important features. To evaluate the fidelity of the explanation, we, we replace the values of these important features with random numbers. Given a set of samples, we can find that ACID performs runs after replacing important feature values. It can provide it can prove the fidelity of our explanation. In summary, firstly, we propose a general robustness certification framework for deep learning based traffic analyzers. Secondly, we show how to apply the framework to five domain specific problems of traffic analysis. Thirdly, we implement the framework on three practical deep learning based traffic analyzers. Besides, we release our code in GitHub. Thank you for listening. We hope BARS can accelerate the wide application of deep learning based traffic analyzers system. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot for this presentation. It, um, it was very interesting. Just one question. How, um, since you add noise during the training stage, how, um, did you observe any um, delay in the, in the conversion such that the noise actually slows down the training? Okay. Um, it's similar to uh, searching adversarial examples. We use the gradient of the loss function to noise samples, but we uh, don't both them uh, cross the classification boundary. It's the op optimizing uh, possible. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I was wondering if you took into consideration that most of the algorithms that are developed for traffic analysis are based on graph neural networks. And for the case of graph neural networks, I think the robustness certification must be sparsity aware because we know that if we may, we're going to make an adversarial attack on a, uh, a certain graph, it must be sparsity aware in this case. So did you take this condition into consideration in your work? Uh, okay, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, we just, uh, we just uh, certified the robustness uh, offline. Uh, that is, uh, before we deploy the uh, Traffic analysis. Yeah, but I, I meant that uh, the graphs, like, they contain lots of zeros and ones. And so, uh, especially if we're talking about binary graphs, so they must be sparsely aware regarding a specific kind of noise. So, um, do, do you consider this kind of condition in your work? Because 
I think it's uh, really exhaustive to, to work on these kind of conditions. Okay. I, we think, we think the, uh, we just, uh, we just think the uh, adverse attackers uh, uh, can, can, can perturbate the, perturb the uh, samples to uh, attack the uh, traffic analysis. Uh, we don't think, we don't think they can, uh, we can, they can perturbate more uh, samples. Okay, thank you. And so, basically, in uh, some point, I was lost. And can you please uh, expand a bit more on how distribution transformers uh, could contribute to optimization of a smoothing noise? Uh, okay, we use the uh, we use the loss function to optimize the uh, distribution transformer. Uh, we we use the uh, three part. Uh, that that is that is like to uh, start the uh, adversarial samples. Um, the first uh, part of the loss function is uh, is to move the uh, noise samples, uh, most the uh, wrongly classified by the samples uh, into to, towards the uh, current uh, decision region. The second part of the loss function. Uh, most uh, uh, currently classified samples towards the wrong decision region. The third part of the loss function is the regular riser. It can maximize the weight parameters. That, that's a uh, loss function. Then we can then we can uh, make the loss sample uh, covered covered to the uh, classification boundary. Okay, so I have another question. Uh, are there any limitations to your uh, approach that you would like to address in the future work? Uh, I think I think the uh, robust uh, I think that this uh, robust certification framework can be used for other uh, tabular uh, data data analysis systems, uh, such as um, malware detection systems. But they can, uh, they can uh, use for other uh, sequence data analysis systems. 